Hey everybody, how's it going out there? What's up, Bear Bull Traders? Happy New Year! Brian Pezum, the Prophet of Prophet, and I are here for the first trading day of the new year, and I'm pretty sure we're going to start our stats out right. I believe we made money. Uh, how are you doing today, brother? How is your How is your new year going good. so far? <clears throat> Very good. Very good. Yeah, we're looking good here. Happy nice. New Year, everybody. Excellent. So you started off today. Um, I, I know that you got a really nice hit on on the SQQQs. I thought maybe even we could talk a little bit about inverse ETFs uh, while we're going through this. But I, I know you caught Tesla as well and, and some other yep. stuff. Yeah, we did. Uh, well, when you uh, you shorted, I think you were shorting the SPY and I was basically shorting the Qs. <clears throat> I was just using, uh, I think you did the index. I did, uh, I just played it with a, um, uh, an ETF that shorts it. So uh, same difference. So there's a lot of the traders out there, especially newer traders. Um, a lot of the times you don't have shares for short that are available, or maybe you have a type of position that you don't feel comfortable. You run a really high margin when you short or something like this using a, a, an inverse ETF, or basically it's an ETF that trades in the opposite direction against it. So for instance, Brian um, is was long SQQQ here um, as the market sold off, right? So and what he's talking about is I actually was short the SPY, which, you know, correlates pretty heavily with the Qs. So you guys can see here, I the SPY rallied ahead of our numbers that came out today through this beautiful inverted hammer up at what was last month's monthly S4, um, and then R4, our breakout range, failed on our intradaily for you Cam Camarilla pivot traders. So I went short off of that hammer and got just a beautiful fade down, which I've gotten my whole move all the way down to S3, and, I, and I'm still holding a little bit just to see how far we can go today, because if we lose PDC, I actually think we could sell a lot more. Before I got into that, I did try a short on Qs at R3, but I, I went out at break even because um, we squeezed a little bit heading into those numbers. Um, and then I was also looking at um, SQ. Um, SQ did an early squeeze too, came out to the floor pivots, and I caught that one short as well. Nice stop, good partials, but it, it hunted me. It came back and it got my trailing position, took me out, and then decided to go on the rest of its merry way, which I personally don't think was appropriate, but you know, there you go. So, um, but all in all, I mean, really great start to the new year. Um, how rude, right, Afon? Really great start to the new year. Um, I, you know, we're both up some decent PL today. So, what more could you ask for? Yes, sir. Yeah. Great. Well, what we'll do, let's go ahead and wrap that for our, our first sesh of the new year. Um, the, our fearless leader for all of y'all who aren't following on his social media um, at Bearable Traders, uh, Andrew has been out um, globe trotting and climbing the tallest peaks he can possibly find, um, keeping his beautiful face intact as much as possible. As you can see on his Facebook, he was, he was quite concerned about the frostbite on his nose. So make sure to get to his social media and tell him how beautiful he is. Um, and then, uh, you know, but we'll close this out. For all of y'all in YouTube land, thumbs up, like, subscribe. You know how it works. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, we'll look forward to more great trading recaps throughout the year. And as long as Brof Brian and I are trading together, um, I'm just saying, mm -hmm. things are going down. Things are all good. All right, <clears throat> all right everybody. Have, uh, have a good rest of the day and uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody, and keep it green.